want to deliver supplies to disadvantaged families at Liu Chou Island. We look at how the volunteers help a care recipient who has been amputated. Welcome to the Headlines. I'm Sivir Su. Thank you for joining us. So the volunteers travel to Liu Chou Island giving care packages and vegetable packages to disadvantaged students. School principals and teachers also join the distribution force as they hope to relieve the economic burdens of local families. The aid recipients seize the occasion to express their gratitude for the volunteers. Let's join them there. After transporting through trucks and a ferry, the care packages finally arrive at Liu Chou Island. Carrots and other supplies. There are also books from Master Zhen Yan. It's very meaningful. When parents arrive at the campus, they receive care packages from Ciji and Pingdong County government. Considering that Pingdong is far from our location, the packages include a care package, rice and vegetable packages. Job opportunities are already limited on Liu Chou Island, yet the pandemic has led even more students' households to go into financial difficulties. I'm cleaning up the hotel. Because there are no customers, I stay at home. Two months without work, the mother of four grew anxious. The arrival of care packages has for sure helped them out. These packages and foods are helpful. It helps us a lot. I hope that after students grow up, they have the heart to help others. Let this trend of goodness continue into society. Boxes of surprise volunteers have warmed the hearts of disadvantaged families living on Liu Chou Island, accompanying them through the pandemic. Since the government implemented their level alert, an orphanage in Yingling has been closed to the public. As a result, it lacks food and supplies. Some people who are worried that the 35 children might not get enough nutrients sought help from Ciji. Therefore, today volunteers have delivered 18 kinds of vegetables and fruits to the orphanage. Wiping white, red, yellow, and green vegetables, volunteers divide into teams to help organize the colorful vegetables before packing them. We get rid of the unnecessary ones and deliver the vegetables to them. Maybe when they see these vegetables, they will be very happy. Vegetables are as beautiful as the rainbow, and the children who eat them will be healthy. In addition, there are bean curds given by volunteers. Volunteers pack a total of 21 food ingredients and load it onto the truck with care packages, heading to Chang'ai Orphanage in Dapi Township. The orphanage director, Wu Wenhui, is nicely surprised to see the large amount of supplies. Wow, when I saw that, I was surprised. It is because since June, it is the first time that someone has delivered so much supplies to us, really. In the orphanage, the appreciation wall has been empty since June. As a result, 35 children and 15 adults have been living frugally. Some people have learned of their plight and sought help on Ciji. Therefore, Ciji has immediately delivered the fresh produce. There are 35 boxes of care packages. There's a total of 18 kinds of vegetables and fruits. It is very lavish. We hope that during the pandemic period, we can ensure that the orphans will be eating healthy and nutritional foods. Volunteers have delivered the food supplies, making sure that during the summer vacation, these orphans will not go hungry. In Taoyuan, Taiwan, there's a vegetable farmer couple. Since the year 921 earthquake struck Taiwan, the wife started to sell her vegetables for charity purposes. Her husband has kept their golden jewelry in a plastic tube, which was buried in the vegetable garden. Last year, their son got married, and they wanted to give these jewelry to their daughter-in-law, but they could not find the jewelry. Then the wife vowed that she would donate the jewelry for charity purpose if they could find the jewelry. Then they found the jewelry and made a donation. Since the September 21st earthquake struck Taiwan, Huang Yu Ashe often sees occasions to sell her vegetables and donate the proceeds for International Disaster Relief Fund. I think that people in foreign countries need help more than people in Taiwan. Taiwanese people are truly blessed. As long as you're willing to work, you won't go hungry. Wang Yu Ashe's husband has kept their golden jewelries in a plastic tube, buried in the vegetable garden. 
However, when they wanted to give these jewelries to their daughter-in-law, they could not find them. When I could not find the jewelries, I told the Bodhisattva that if I could find it, I would donate them to benefit the public. I made up my mind that I should donate them to help people during the pandemic period. After she sold her vegetable garden, as she was leveling the ground, she found these jewelries again. She donated them in the family's name. The jewelry shop owner also added value to her jewelries to increase the strength of the kind deed. Since the Level 3 alert, city volunteers and social workers were unable to visit key recipients in person as online meetups were held. In addition, recycling stations were also forced to stop operation. Despite that, volunteers still make regular phone calls to recycling volunteers, guiding them to live out a healthy life at home. Let's take a look. Responding to COVID prevention measures, many Tsuji recycling stations pause work. For a month, recycling volunteers aren't allowed into recycling stations. How are they doing? Tsuji volunteer Xie Su Mei lives near Dusan Recycling Education Center as she makes calls to senior recycling volunteers on a daily basis. We can't give up on these senior volunteers, so we must contact them. We already know which recycling volunteer lives alone or lives with their children. We'll call them directly, and when they hear our voice, they feel very happy. In the line group, Xie Su Mei shares the healthy exercises from Tima. As she wants other recycling volunteers to exercise, keeping everyone happy and healthy. I called a recycling volunteer and asked if they exercise. She told me, yes, I did it a hundred times. I told her it's good to do it a hundred times. I started out by asking her if they exercise and slowly requested them to do more exercises. We must interact with seniors and give them prices to encourage them. At home, recycling volunteers exercise frequently as they hope to return to the recycling station. Though staying at home, some city volunteers become even busier. Performing sign language to the phone screen, the motions of love have a special meaning. I learned some sign language from sign language songs before. It's old words, therefore I can't perform sentences. I can only do words. If the child is happy, then we are happy too. <laughs> the person across the phone is a hearing impaired student. Before the level 3 alert, Xu Xiumei is like a super mother, helping the student with life and scholarships. When a student's classes broke, Xu Xiumei helped the student out. Due to the pandemic, Xu Xiumei isn't allowed to visit the student in person as they met through phone calls. The video call closes our distance. If it's just a phone call, they really can't see our faces, which display our true emotions and sincerity. Though volunteers cancelled in-person visits, the calls brought the same level of sincerity. Under the threat of the virus, several city volunteers were confirmed positive for COVID-19 as the plan to care for Dharma friends was initiated. They can't come out to buy groceries for at least a week, so we give them a care package at first. As for Dhamma friends, I'll call them every day and check on the nurse situation. I rarely use LINE, but when the call doesn't go through, I use LINE to text them. The phone call is important because I get to hear their voice. We need to hear them. Though everyone remain at home, Wang Yuru made efforts to send out supplies. Under the pandemic, though the methods to show love and compassion changed, the original intention to do charity and recycling remained the same.
foundation collaborated with a supermarket to start a cash card project. During the cash card distributions, volunteers learned that the disadvantaged people suffer from more issues due to the pandemic. Mr. Zhao, who lives in New Taipei City, had an amputation due to a car accident. He takes on the responsibility to raise his daughter alone. Accidents often strike people suddenly. A car accident 10 years ago caused Mr. Zhao's life to come to a complete stop. At the time I had a major car accident, the doctor told my ex-wife that we must be mentally prepared. It's either giving up on first aid or amputation. Mr. Zhao doesn't understand why multiple health issues rise after amputation as he suffers from vascular obstruction and diabetes. The doctor even gave him several warnings. My body is getting worse every day. My doctor even told me that I might pass out any time. Mr. Zhao is ready for the worst as he is still worried about his daughter. He thinks about leaving quietly without disturbing her life. Actually, my condition now puts pressure on my daughter. Just like what my doctor said, I told my daughter to give up first aid when the moment comes. During the pandemic, it's even harder to find job opportunities. Facing the situation, Mr. Zhao felt useless as he told volunteers that he misses his father very much. On this day, Zhiji volunteers brought a 5,000 NT dollars cash card to Mr. Zhao's home. Bothered by economic burdens, the Zhao family feels pressured day by day. We gave this household a cash card because the daughter lost her part-time job during the pandemic. She was laid off since her workplace didn't need that many people during May. The daughter experienced unemployment and other tragedies, forcing her to be mature at an early age. Since my father had a car accident, my parents divorced. Therefore, now I'm managing the household, and I must face some tasks that go beyond my age, so I must become mature. The small room hosts the colorful aquarium, though the reality is tough. 17 year old Zhao Jingling remains optimistic. Besides owning fish, the house also has a dog and a guinea pig as the daughter loves to talk about these cute animals. I love to keep pets because I think they're alive too. The dogs in our house are adopted back from the animal shelter. Zhao Jingling says that since she lives a tough life, she wants these small animals to live a better life. Because every life is precious. We think that it's fine to not eat meals, but the animals must eat because they might have experienced more hardships than we do. Though binding by the harsh realities, Cao Jingling strongly believes that she'll make it out one day. This is an experience and you can think that your life ends here. I usually go through good times and bad times, so I think that it's wrong to blame others. The father and daughter struggled economically, worrying about the bills for the upcoming month under the pandemic, who will help them get through the hardships. In many slums in Jakarta, Indonesia, the residents lack environmental awareness. As a result, it is easy for diseases to spread. A group of young people have set up an environmental school, hoping to instill environmental concepts in the young minds of children. Let's take a look at how they teach children to protect the environment. Seeing that many children lack environmental awareness, Elsa and another person decided to establish an environmental school. The school has provided four environmental courses, including getting to know plants, learning about universe, exploring the environment, and natural experiment. 
karena permasalahan atau bencana alam yang ada di Indonesia terus juga ada isu-isu. Since we witnessed the natural disasters that struck Indonesia and the problem of plastic garbage, we have established a school. We want to teach the students to love nature and protect the environment. We need to help them develop the concept. Mencintai alam, menjaga lingkungannya supaya mereka bisa sejahtera sekala, secara uh, psikologisnya. The teaching activities are fun and they also allow students to learn about nature. Among them, one class teaches the students about the process of volcano eruption. In addition, teachers lead students in outdoor activities as they exercise and pick up garbage. The students who participate in the environmental activities are very happy because they have learned to protect the environment. Keliling-keliling memumut sampah, nah terus sambil jogging, jogging, terus uh, menanam. menanam. For Elsa, it is important for children to learn about environmental concepts, so they can carry out environmental protection in daily life. A green environment must include green plants. In cities, due to the limited amount of space, people resorted to planting flowers and indoor plants. In this report, we're looking at glass containers as flower pots. Their space saving and appearance also looks very artistic. Only a courtyard is what most looks forward to, especially during the pandemic. In courtyards, colorful plants and trees will bring people happy emotions. Though even without a courtyard, one can start planting without a large space. Recently, terrariums, which are glass containers for plants, provided a better solution for any narrow space. Terrariums are containers containing soil and plants. Within a container, planters may adjust the interior with their own style, then placing in plants such as cactus, brick and firm, ivy, and moss. Terrarium adalah sebuah karya seni apa, tanaman yang di dalam wadah. Terrarium is an artistic creation involving plants and a container. The theme is in accordance to a country, including the United States and Italy. There are also terrariums with themes such as a desert or snowy landscape. Amerika temanya Itali uh, banyak sih negara yang lain terus uh, bisa juga uh, apa padang gurun winter kayak gitu bisa bisa. Terrarians have their own advantage and uniqueness. Besides the attractive appearance, it provides greening to the surroundings while decorating the area, as it also does not take much space. Terrarians are also easy to cultivate, watering one time per month and placing it under the sun allow the plants to thrive. Perawatan mudah sih, kita kan uh, medianya emang khusus buat langsung ke terrarium, jadi nggak usah ribet-ribet. Terrariums are easy to cultivate, since our growth medium aims to terrarium plant types. We only have to water these plants once per month to keep everything fresh. Penyemprotan spray itu sebulan sekali juga untuk me, apa, menyegarkan di dalam wadah itu sendiri. For people interested in gardening but lack knowledge in design, they may also purchase terrariums from farmers. A terrarium normally costs from $10 to $70. The pricing is depending on the design difficulty and the size of plants. A larger terrarium will amount to a higher cost. In Malaysia, city hunter Yang Bu Kong had a bad temper before he adopted a vegetarian diet. Back then, people around him feared him. Then, because his children attended city kindergarten and were encouraged to embrace vegetarianism, he also switched to a vegetarian diet. Since then, he has become kinder and more compassionate. His wife is very grateful for his change. Let's meet this city volunteer. He's the owner of a car stereo and protection film center. Both at work and at home, he's known for having a bad temper. When he scolds his employees, people in other shop can hear him. In the past, I only had two things. They were money and bad temper. When he got angry, I would take the children and hide in the room. Besides money and bad temper, Yao Bu Kang was also very superstitious. When my business was not going smoothly, I would pray to deities and burn a lot of Joss money. When my business was good, I burned even more Joss money. 
He also used meat dishes to worship deities, which worried his wife, who is a Buddhist and a vegetarian. He would offer meat dishes to worship deities. He placed the meat on the table. My wife has been a vegetarian since she was little. She kept telling me to adopt a vegetarian diet and help other people. I thought that Buddhists are strange since they want me to embrace vegetarianism and help people. Just help ourselves while help people. For many years, Yobu Khan's family feared his bad temper. Then he watched two soap operas and changed his temperament. Liao Fan's four lessons and a story about kitchen god. Back then, he enjoyed watching drama programs. So my father said, why not let him watch these drama programs? He said that while destiny is predestined, you can change your luck. If you do good deeds, your fate will gradually change. After his child attended city kindergarten, Yao Pukan has changed and switched to a vegetarian diet. My children attended city kindergarten. The school promoted vegetarianism. Back then, I told him, why not we all adopt a vegetarian diet? He thought about it and said, yes, we can try that. I thought that was a good idea, as I wanted to dedicate the merits to my ancestors. So I gradually adopted a vegetarian diet. It is really important to adopt a vegetarian diet, as I could control my temper. Then I nurture my compassion. Then I began to have empathy, and I would think about other people's feelings. Okay, even his employees have noticed their boss has changed. In the past, he had a bad temper and he would scold people. He no longer scolds people. In the past, as I worked with Boon Kang, I saw that his facial complexion was different from now. In the past, his face was darker and now it is whiter, it is bright. It is hard to change a person's natural characteristics. So it is not easy for him to change like this. Therefore, for me, life is impermanent, and there is hope everywhere. As the family can now live in harmony, the husband's good temper is the best gift for his wife. After a long break, Qingjing Farm has hosted its sheep show again. On the first day of the show, many sheep have gained weight, and they even got lost on their way to work. We'll leave you with these images. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.